A few days before the end of 2019, I hit my goal of uh, getting my weight down to 100 kilos. I started my weight loss journey three and a half months uh, earlier. At that time, uh, the scale set 116 kilos. The last two uh, weeks of my weight loss journey was not comfortable. Uh, I was just eating enough to not feel uh, that I was starving. My diet uh, the last few days of 2019 was less restrictive. Uh, I was still eating healthy food, but uh, I added some carbohydrate uh, treats uh, in as well. I quickly ended up having some trouble sleeping at night. Uh, I was also having some issues with my stomach and, and uh, digestion. And I was seeing some uh, impure skin as well. So I guess my, my body wasn't ready for, for a big change. From one day to another, eating not a lot of uh, different foods to just have a lot of variety and uh, eating carbohydrates as well. So for January, I've decided to do the carnivore diet. Um, many people see really good results from uh, the carnivore diet. Uh, not just from weight loss, uh, but also improved health. Uh, the carnivore diet is a meat-only diet. I know I said it in one of my previous updates that I wasn't a fan of uh, restrictive diets. But based on what I've heard from other people, um, the results from this diet is quite impressive. Not just from a weight loss perspective, but uh, overall feeling. More energy, uh, better and, and clearer uh, thinking, uh, increased strength, and so on. Some people ha have gotten their blood tested throughout uh, their diet, their carnivore diet, uh, with some pretty good results. Um, I've always been eating a lot of vegetables, so I will definitely be, uh, be missing those. I'll try to eat as many different kinds of meat uh, from different animals uh, as I can, uh, including organ meats as well. I'll also be adding uh, some cheese uh, once in a while uh, for an, an additional fat source, and uh, I'll also be allowing myself uh, some coffee as well. Besides the, the carnivore diet, I'll also be doing 100 push-ups every day throughout the, the month of January and, and still be doing my uh, regular workouts. For the first few days, I've only uh, done one regular workout uh, besides my 100 uh, push-ups. I've simply been way too busy with a lot of stuff and I also want my, my body to, uh, to adapt to the changes from a new, uh, from a new diet and from all those push-ups. But I should be um, back on track with my regular workouts uh, from this week. I have a few other uh, challenges um, on my mind for this year. Uh, the next one is probably going to be one that I've done before. Um, it's going to be really hard and will be ending with a really tough workout that, that I kind of fear but also kind of look forward to. Uh, to see if I've done any improvements in, uh, in that workout. I've adjusted my workout routine to be a bit more intense on, uh, on squat and deadlift uh, variations. I'll be doing a minimum of three workouts each week with uh, light to medium weight. I recover faster from, uh, from the squats than uh, the deadlift, so I will do more squatting exercises than, uh, than deadlifting. Whenever I have time to do uh, four to five uh, workouts a week, I will be adding a heavy day with either squat or deadlift. And uh, the fifth day will be, uh, let's call it a freestyle, freestyle day. Uh, I'm probably going to add some bodybuilding exercises to, to get some more muscular definition. Um, and I'll probably do some, some uh, pressing exercises on, on the fifth day as well. I'll also uh, try to get in a few more uh, grip and, uh, and, and forearm uh, strengthening exercises. 
uh, a good grip and forearm strength is beneficial in many li uh, lifts and uh, exercises. As long as I do that many push-ups every day, I'm not going to do uh, a whole lot of pressing exercises. So far, I've done uh, 100 push-ups every day for uh, five days, uh, and I complete those 100 within five to six uh, sets. So it's it's usually between 15 and, and 25 reps uh, per set. I mix between uh, the wide, narrow, and uh, and diamond push-ups, uh, but hopefully I will be adding a few ring and plyo push-ups uh, later this month, um, depending on uh, on fatigue and soreness uh, at that at that time. I've been uh, measuring my chest and my arms, hip, uh, thighs, calves, and so on. So throughout uh, the month of January, I will be um, I'll be tracking those to see uh, if all those push-ups uh, do anything. Uh, I already feel uh, a change in my, my chest and my triceps. Uh, so I really look forward to see uh, the end results uh, after this, this month. That's it. Remember to uh, hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. See you next week.